So just about an hour ago at the time that I do record this video, the main event for the UFC Abu Dhabi Fight Night in August was just announced and it is going to be the rebooking of Corey Sanhagen, Sanhagen <laughs> taking on Uma Nurmagomedov. And um, this is a great fight. I mean, it seems like a lot of people don't like this fight. They don't like the fact that Umar is getting the main event so early and this and that. But at the end of the day, Umar is a big name. A lot of people are talking about him. People seem to be talking negatively about him getting the opportunity. But at the end of the day, people are talking about Umar Nurmagomedov. And he does have a very legitimate chance at beating Corey Sanhagen in Dubai, in his home territory. And Corey Sanhagen's a top guy. Corey Sanhagen is ranked number two in the division right now. And I feel like the reason why Corey has accepted this matchup is because the UFC has told him, if you beat Umar Nurmagomedov, you're going to get the title shot. And honestly, I think Umar Nurmagomedov is probably going to lose to Corey Sanhagen then. I was going to pick Corey Sanhagen to defeat him when they were originally meant to fight against each other in that event in August of last year. And now, I guess, a year later, we are now going to be getting the matchup. He, of course, fought Rob Font, but I do think he injured himself either during the fight or just after the fight. And now... The matchup is going to be booked for one year later after Umar Nurmagomedov, of course, has gone on to find a lot of his own success in the UFC, where, of course, he did knock out Rayan Basalos prior to the Sanhagen booking, and then he did beat Bexat Amakan, which is a pretty random fight that just kind of comes together. And Bexat Amakan, as I did say in that fight going in, Amakan's a really good striker, and it actually looks like they might have eliminated a lot of his wins. Modified rules, that's the problem. These Zhepizhek fights, they're very similar to MMA, but they're not. So unfortunately for him, even though it was Bexit Amakan who was 17-1 and at one point, it's now been reduced to 11-1 and because of the Zhepizhek fights, which just aren't quite the same as MMA. A little bit of a side tangent in the first two minutes of the video, but that's just kind of what happens, I guess, sometimes. Corey Sandhagen, I do think he can beat Umar. I genuinely do. Umar's dangerous, and he's very, very good, of course. I mean, I feel like Umar's best trait, although I did actually previously say, and there probably is a lot of videos of me saying this, I thought that Umar's striking was better than his wrestling. I don't think that anymore. I genuinely do believe that Umar's wrestling is better than his striking, but at one point, it was really looking like we're looking at Umar Nurmagomedov as Khabib with much, much better striking. And honestly, that's what he was for a long period of time, but I feel like now... Just over time, we're kind of looking at Umar and we're thinking, hey, this guy's really good, but maybe his striking isn't as good as what I personally thought it was. And I do think that he might struggle to get Corey Sanhagen down to the ground. You know, Corey is a guy that is pretty good at defending takedowns, but not only that, wrestling is what he's been drilling over and over and over again recently. You know, when he just won a couple of fights based on wrestling purely, he beat Marlon Vera with his wrestling why is it a split decision you're gonna have to talk to one of the judges on that one but he beat Marlon Vera by taking him down and controlling him he beat Rob Font by doing the exact same thing Corey Sanhagen has in a way been preparing for this fight for for years now you know because he was a guy that had a very very wicked striking and a very good grappling ability to get submissions but that wrestling just wasn't quite there and now we're seeing Corey Sanhagen mix everything up with the wrestling and I do believe that we are now going to see Corey Sanhagen find success with his wrestling. Probably not against Umar Nurmagomedov, but in the future. And with that wrestling, it's probably going to come with a lot of takedown defense um, improvement. And obviously, as part of takedown defense, it's not just actually defending the takedown as it is. It could be moving out of the way and giving Umar Nurmagomedov just no real opportunity to shoot for a good takedown because Corey Sanhagen has really, really good movement on the feet. He's a tricky, tricky striker that's hard to hit. He's fast. He throws shots from weird angles. He throws knees. He throws elbows. He throws strikes. He's just a guy in general that's going to be an awkward stylistic matchup for Uma to fight on the feet. I think that the wrestling is going to be there for Uma, but he's going to have to out-wrestle Corey Sanhagen and dominate him on the ground for three out of five rounds. And I don't know if he can do that, so... That is why I'm going to go out here and say my early prediction, my early lean for the fight, is Corey Sanhagen here. Now, once again, a lot of people are like, hey, he hasn't deserved the opportunity. You look at Umar, he hasn't beaten, I don't think he's actually been anyone ranked. And he's ranked number nine. But at the end of the day, he is dominating all of these guys. We're finally about to see how good he really is. He very likely probably will step up to the plate. Might even beat Corey Sanhagen. But I am just going to go out there and say I do believe Sanhagen's going to show that experience. 
I think he's going to show his weird movement on the feet. I think he's going to show good takedown defense, improved takedown defense. I think he's going to be able to outstrike Uma. I think there's very little doubt in my mind that Sanhagen's the better striker. The wrestling, of course, goes to Uma. The grappling goes to Uma as well. But I do think that Sanhagen can make things awkward on the feet, maybe even awkward on the ground. Let me know what you think in the comments below.